Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. And this time we are taking out the Mercedes Actros MP2. And I've sort of tried to make it sort of like a, a cheap sort of a truck, almost. Um, but it's very plain, very plain sort of truck. It's, it's literally just a hauler. This is a truck to be used. It's not like a show truck or anything. We are here to use it. And today we will be taking some goods in this really cool looking trailer. It sort of matches the truck almost in colours. I didn't I didn't plan that. <laughs> but um, this is the sort of typical thing you'd see in the UK is is uh, this sort of truck setup. But we'll be taking these goods from Southampton all the way into Germany today. So we'll be going across France and sort of into Germany. Which is a first for us in this series. Um, so we've got a big journey ahead so let's jump in but I just want to say quickly before we get started if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button down below when we reach a thousand subs we'll be doing a special event or a giveaway so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that also check out the last video we did on your trip by going to my channel and checking that out so now that we are inside the truck, I've uh, I've set the FOV to 90. If you're wondering what FOV I'm using, um, that's just so you can see everything. Uh, but I did want to show you this up here. This thing's got a virtual taco. Look at this. It's actually got the place where you put your uh, your taco card in. And uh, if we turn the truck off, you can see that it's it's just hanging there. And then as we turn it on. It pushes in. Really nice feature that. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of these mods feature the taco, so to see that on there is really really cool. Okay, so we are on the road. We've got quite a long journey. To be fair, we've got to uh, first make it over to the sort of Europort, get a ferry or the train over into France, and. Uh, and then make our way across France into Germany. So quite a, quite a long journey. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna cut some of it out or not. We will see. But I wanna say a big thank you to all the subs that I've gained over the last couple of videos um, you've been really supportive and uh, we are trying to get to a 1000 subscriber goal so if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video because the vast majority of people who watch the videos almost 80% of people do not subscribe so uh, if you could just hit the subscribe button down below and help us get to that goal of a thousand subs that would be amazing. This has got a 12 speed gearbox, this Mercedes. Um, you can get them. I wanted to get over here. Thank you. You can get them with uh, 8 and 6, but uh, as we're doing a long journey, I've equipped it with the 12. It's because, uh, well, we'll be cruising most of the time, we're not doing short journeys or anything, so. Need those, uh, need those gears.
just quickly as well if you didn't see the last Euro Truck video you can see it down in the description there's a link to the video or there will be a pop-up in the, the top right corner but you can also check out the Euro Truck playlist if you want to see all my videos link to that will be down below as well as well as the train sim on my channel you can see train sim videos if you're into that that blue Scania that we uh, we overtook earlier. I didn't think we were going that slow, but... That, that blue Scania absolutely just took off. I'm not sure if we've got cruise control. We have indeed, so we'll just throw that on. I mean, I, I just love the dash on this thing. It looks really sort of, you know, 90s, early 2000s sort of dash with like tactile switches and dials. Really cool, really cool. The MP2, I believe, was early 2000s. Uh, it might have been late 90s. But the MP2 is a really nice truck. It has just got, it's that era of trucks that I really like. Um, same with the MP1. Uh, MP3 starts to get a bit out of like, you know, out there. Don't really, don't really like that one. Um, but yeah, definitely sort of late 90s, early 2000s trips that I really like. Um, the Scania's, Scania's are really good. And where are we going here? We are actually going up here. That's a good thing I turned the, uh, the map back on. And we're going around here. Got it breaking on an uphill. Oh dear. Come on, bro. Sometimes the AI will do that, they'll just break out of out of nowhere and it's like I thought you were on rails anyway. No need for them to break really, but he's jumping about the uh jumping about the road. I'm not really too sure what lane we've got to be in here. At least we've got cruise control. That is kind of a, uh, a must, to be honest. We might have to get over here. It's a good thing we did. want to use any of these mods that I'm using now you can actually go down into the description I should have listed all the mods so I'll list the truck mod I'll list the taco mod you know graphics mod whatever um, it'll all be down in the description if you want to grab it all and uh, and use it now I am running on 1.39 if a mod doesn't work on on the latest version I will let you know in the description um, and in the title but uh, all the mods that I'm using at the moment all work on the latest version 1.39 so uh, you've got nothing to worry about there 
Um, I will tell you though, like the, for instance, the video on the Volvo, if you haven't seen that, it's on the channel. But the Volvo um, uh, tipper, that only works on 1.38, so, you know, I let, I let everybody in that video know that it, that it didn't work on, on the latest version. But uh, I do test every single mod uh, on the latest version, and if it doesn't work, I tend to uh, try it on other versions until it does, just so I can let you know, sort of thing. Because uh, some people, they will get the mod and it won't work, and they'll be like, why doesn't it work? You know, the YouTube video I watch says it does. And that's, I've also been there in the past, I've also had that happen to me where I've downloaded the mod, it hasn't worked, and the YouTube video says that it does, and turns out that the YouTube video lied. I'm not like that, I will let you know, you know, if, if, a, uh, if a mod's not working on the latest version, and we have taken the wrong way, done, hopefully we can get back on that road. really like his trailer though with the Michelin man on it that's really cool now we've been here a couple of times in the last episodes we've uh, we've been doing you know more journeys over into Europe uh, we've been going into the Netherlands France but this is the first time we are going into Germany so we're not we're not going down sort of France or or straight across into the Netherlands we are we're going right across France which is a uh, which is really cool we're gonna see some sites that we've not seen yet Need a queue here look, to get in. <laughs> or people parked up. It's probably just people parked up actually. You know they've uh, they've come across the channel and they need a, they need a nap or something or they they need to sleep because they've been driving for a very long time. They can park up. I really like this trailer in front. <laughs> it's just a really cool trailer. This is what I like though, I think I've said it in the previous episodes where we uh, came through the channel tunnel. I like that there's other trucks here driving around, there's things going on, you know, there's there's lots of uh, lots of activity. And there would be a lot of activity around the channel tunnel here, which is what I like, I like to see that. going down here into one of these. We've got to check up here where freight is. Cars are down that one. Freight is down this one. And this is where we get on the train. So, I will get on here and I will rejoin you when we are over the, uh, over the channel into Europe. We 
can check our taco as well when we turn off. There it is. Alright, so I will see you over the channel. say I am using the G29 steering wheel and shifter setup but I have changed the springs over what is that? I have changed the springs in my pedals they don't recommend this and uh, a lot of people on the internet don't recommend it either but I felt the stock clutch pedal on the G29 was a bit a bit too firm it was a bit too set up for like race games um, and I just wanted an easy clutch that I could just dip change gear and then up off so the spring in it was a lot it was it was too it was too hard the spring was so I basically changed the spring I, I basically bought a new spring set for the whole thing which um, basically gave the clutch a a lighter spring so that the clutch is easier now to press down I have noticed that there is a few problems with it though. Sometimes it won't register the, the clutch being pressed down. Probably because it, you know, it hasn't registered that quick pedal movement. It's not too bad most of the time, but uh, every now and then I do, I do sense it. But it means that I can just quickly do a like, you know, it's not as firm to press down as as before. Uh, I didn't want it to be that too firm. I wanted it to be more like the accelerator pedal, which for this spring setup, it it they both fit. Basically, all the pedals are basically the exact same when it comes to uh, when it comes to the. Oh, we're going a bit. When it comes to depressing the pedal, they're all the same spring, basically. Even the brake pedal's just easy to push down. Which is the sort of pedal setup I like. It's not 100% accurate. And it's not 100% real. You know, if you were playing a racing game, you probably want it to be the default setup with nice, you know, realistic pedals. But, uh, that's just not how I like to play Eurotron. And that's why I really liked my old G25, is because the pedals were literally just really easy to push down. It made driving in this game really uh, not easy, but a bit. You know, you didn't have, you weren't straining your feet constantly by pushing a heavy pedal down. Probably not very realistic, but at the end of the day, it's a video game, and I don't want to be, you know straining myself playing a video game. I just want it to be easy. Okay, I don't know what this French flag is. Oh, this is the border to French and Belgium. France and Belgium. That's what that is. And then it's off into Germany as well. Belgium. Now I haven't checked fuel level on this for a while. Uh, fuel. Oh, we're pretty good on fuel. Even AdBlue is filled up. That's good news. That's good news. going into the night now. I really like that red glow on the uh, on the back of the cab. That is really cool in the dark. I really like that. I like the green glow from all the instruments as well. Night driving in this game is something else. I, I really do like it. It's really cool.
streets are like super quiet. Well, it is pretty much, uh, well, it's pretty much midnight on a Sunday. <laughs> in, in, in game. Um, so, the Belgium here is quite, quite empty. The roads are, are pretty good. In Eurotruck, I've, I've not driven through Belgium. Uh, I think the furthest we've been on this profile uh, in this series is uh, France, like sort of South France, sort of bit ish. Staying in it again. I think so. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bit confusing when you've got all these different roads and stuff. But If you haven't seen all the other videos and you want to watch them, there's a link down in the description for the Eurotrip playlist. And if you click on that, you can basically just watch them all if you're interested. You can watch them all from the very first Eurotrip that we uh, that we started on this profile, um, and you can watch all the all the way up until now. There's it's quite a few videos now, so you, <laughs> I'd be uh, I'd be very impressed if somebody has seen them all. Stay in this one. But if you have seen all the videos or most of them, comment down below and tell me. Tell me, uh, you know, let me know if you are a faithful subscriber and you have watched most of the videos. You know, I want to interact with you guys. I want to interact with the people that actually watch the videos. So. Let me know down below if you've uh, if you're a new sub, if you're a long-term sub, if you, you know if you've been watching the videos for a long time, or you literally just watching this video for the very first time. You know you're watching uh, my channel for the very first time. Let me know. I want to know. This Mercedes MP2 is absolutely doing well. I actually really like it. Um, I've always had a soft spot for Mercedes trucks. They've, uh, they've always been always been great in this game. They look amazing. I'm gonna go over. But yeah, I mean, if you want to try this mod out, I'll leave a link down down below um, please I, I urge you to check it out it's actually really nice um, you can pretty much get loads of stuff for it sound mods you know add-ons for it like rigid chassis and stuff you can get literally tons and tons and tons of stuff so you know if we're actually entering Germany now so yeah if you you know you want to change it up and make it your own you can 
know, I've made mine sort of like a, a long distance cheap hauler sort of thing, but uh, you could make yours like show truck, you could literally do whatever you wanted. And we are in Germany now. Excellent. And it is uh, 3 o'clock on a Monday morning. So it'll probably start going light in a sec. I haven't seen rain for a very long time. Um, there is a rain probability slider in Eurotrick in the settings. That might be turned off. I might have turned it off because of uh, the rain was probably getting annoying. But uh, I might have to check if I, I can turn that back on. Have a little bit of rain maybe every now and then. Because that's always a, a fun thing. to the heart of Germany this is going going where we're going I'm happy to do more um, episodes like this where we do a bit, bit more of a longer journey um, I might not I'm, I may cut some of the UK out at the beginning just because um we, you know, we, we've all seen the UK at this point, and uh, the video would end up being like 40, 50 minutes long, which, I mean, I don't think people really want to be watching that long, but if they do, fair enough. But, um, yeah, I might cut some of the UK out at the start and then just get into the, the sort of meat and potatoes of... Uh, can we turn here? Yeah, we can. Just get into the meat and potatoes of, you know, Europe and the drive here. I don't really know what these flashing lights mean. I'm guessing that it means you can... They're not, they're not functional at night. You can just go straight over. Obviously with caution, but um... Oh, onto the grass a little bit there. But yeah, this is where we are dropping off these car parts. The Mercedes has come home. <laughs> it's come to Germany. I, I, the thing is, I, uh, I wanted to do this journey um, and I saw the trailer, and I thought, what truck would I want to do it in? And the uh, Mercedes was was perfect for it. So that's why I put the Mercedes on. And it is not disappointed. I do like it very much. It's a very cool, very cool uh, truck. sort of going down here into a, a bit of an industrial park to be honest turning right all the red lights yeah, this is quite a big industrial park down here. There's a lot of containers and stuff I could see there. Probably because these car parts will probably go from here and be distributed all over the EU. And maybe even further, who knows. Maybe they'll be used in the next couple of Mercedes, I don't know. We 
which would be quite ironic, delivered by Mercedes to build a Mercedes. And that sign is... Has it not got a texture? Texture not found. <laughs> well, DHL needs to sort out their signage. They need to speak to their sign guy, because clearly he's not doing his job right. <laughs> Right, and that is that is us. Just a bit further. And that's it. Alright. Okay, so if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a big like on the video. And if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed, please do so down below. We are trying to reach a thousand subs and uh, if we do we might do something special. But uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, that was the Mercedes MP2 mod. Um, if you want to check this one out for yourself, I will leave a link down in the description. So you can go download it. All the mods will be down there. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.